to why we're on our video. So I'm going to have to do part two of my family prediction a bit earlier than usual because I'm going out this evening. I'm not sure what time I'll be back. So this is a countdown from 15 to 10. So first up, I've gone for David Moyes and Sunderland. I think he'll keep him in the Premier League pretty comfortably. Sam Adler's kept them up just by skin their teeth last year before he went off to England earlier in the summer after Roy Hodgson resigned. Domain Defoe scored loads of goals from last year. It's remarkable, really, because now how old he is. He's always been a good striker. I'd like to see somebody help him this season. I think that's what could be David Moyes' downfall is the fact that Jermaine Defoe seems to be the main man for... Sunderland and nobody seems to step up alongside him. Players like Wes Brown and John O'Shea should really be stepping up as well. Show a bit of leadership from Barini can easily step up to help Defoe. But I think David Moyes will get the best out of Jack Robwell if Jack Robwell is fit and he's injury free. He's not fulfilled the potential that people thought he would. But I think David Moyes will get the best out of him obviously working in Everton. And Jar, I just think David Moyes' experience will be the reason why Sunderland will survive this coming season. So I've had them in 15th place. In 14th place, I'm going for Silvan Billick's West Ham. I think it all depends on which part where they finish this season. He's that vital for him, had a fantastic Euros, had a fantastic season last year. Was a contender for player of the year, could have easily won it if Maris didn't have such a good year. But I think this coming season will be a reality check for West Ham. I think Pyatt will leave the club. I just got a bad feeling he might. I think West Ham will be hit that back down to reality, even though they are moving into the stadium for this coming season. I'm not convinced by them defensively. Collins is very, very slow. I'm not sure if James Tompkins is still there or not. I think he might have left. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then obviously Creswell is a good left back. But I just think... Goals are going to be an issue for West Ham's coming season. I don't know, just have enough to survive, but I just don't think they'll do as well as they did last year. Andy Carroll seems to get injured quite a lot. So does Enna Valencia. Sacco was, looked like he was on his way to West Brom, but that deal fell through. He's a good striker, but he's very inconsistent. And yeah, I just think West Ham will finish in 14th place for some reason. In 13th place, I'm going for the final promoted team. Middlesbrough, I think... Negredo, who they got from Valencia, I think it's on loan, was a great deal for Middlesbrough. Obviously, he has experience playing in the Premier League with Man City a few years ago. Don't know why he left Man City, to be honest. He was playing so well there. I think his goals would be vital for Middlesbrough. They've obviously got other players like Tom Lynn, who need to step up from the Championship to the Premier League, which is very hard. But I don't know. I just think for some reason Middlesbrough will do very, very well. And they will survive in the Premier League in their first season back. In 12th place, they've gone for Stoke. I think it'll be a consolidatory year once again for the Potters. Got some good players in Arnautovic, who obviously had a poor Euros. Very inconsistent last year. Obviously, it looked like he was on his way out of the Britannia, but he signed a new deal and stayed. Great move, because he's a good player. So he needs to get consistency out of him. Murray and Juf is a good player, I think. The ex-Man United striker. But again, he's very, very injury prone. If you can get him 100% fit, they've got a great chance. And then obviously, on the other side, they've got Shakiri, Very good player. Very, very good attack-minded. But again, very inconsistent. Had a great Euros. So, if they can get all of them and Affly as well, he's good. But very, again, very injury prone and very inconsistent. But if they can get those players that I mentioned fit and consistent... The Stoke will have a good season. I just think they'll consolidate themselves in the top flight once again. They've been in the top flight for a number of years now. And they will finish in 12th place. They always finish there anyway. There or thereabouts. Next up, we've gone for Swansea. Had a great end to the season last year. There was a lot of speculation about their manager. It looked like he was going to leave, but he's, he's decided to stay on. I know he was ill as well. Their two main men to me are Ayu and Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson was unbelievable for Iceland at the Euros. He was a major part of the reason why he got so far. But again, he can be inconsistent. And I think if he can be consistent throughout the year, Swansea could need to get higher. I think the team around him will let him down, personally. I use another one who's good at times, but again, he's very inconsistent. 
what and also you've got Montero and Routledge as well. They're good, but again very inconsistent. So you need to get them four consistently playing well for Swansea to get any higher than eleventh, maybe tenth place. I think at the back they're a bit short on numbers and very, very dodgy. Ashley Williams is their best defender, obviously he's captain of Wales, played really well for the Welsh national team at the Euros. But Fernandez beside him has not convinced me at all since he moved there. Very, very dodgy and inconsistent. And yeah, I just think he'll be another consolidatory season for the Swans. And they'll survive once again in the top flight. And it'll just be an average season for the Welsh team. And finally, the team I think will finish in 10th place is Bournemouth. I think Eddie Howe's done a great job keeping them up in their first season in the Premier League. They were very, very close to getting relegated, but they survived, along with Sunderland, obviously. Obviously, Callum Wilson was injured last year. Start of the season, obviously broke his head, which is unfortunate because he's playing well. He scored a great goal, I remember, in the first game of the season. I think his goals will be the reason why they stay up. Obviously, he's linked with a move to West Ham. West Ham made a £25 million joint bid for him and Matt Ritchie. Which Bournemouth turned down. Matt Ritchie ended up going to Newcastle, which I was really surprised about. I thought he was great for Bournemouth last year when he played Matt Ritchie. Bob's decided that his future is at Newcastle. And again, I think Bournemouth will be absolutely fine and they will stay in the Premier League for the second season in a row. So that was just my second part of my Premier League prediction, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll do the final two parts tomorrow. But until next time, thanks for watching and listening. Until then, next time, peace out.